Hello and welcome to Central Europe Online. I'm Tara Sunderland and here are some of the stories that were falling for Wednesday, August 19th. The Czech Parliament debates a motion of confidence in the new government. Poland announces new plans to defuse the dispute over Auschwitz. And ethnic Albanians in Kosovo turn down an offer for peace talks with Belgrade. The Czech lower house on Tuesday began to debate a motion of confidence in the social democratic government. More than 30 deputies are scheduled to speak on the motion, which is expected to pass in favor of Prime Minister Miloš Zeman's government. Zeman began the debate, which will last through Wednesday, by criticizing the previous government for favoring the power elite. He vowed to create solidarity with the poor and elderly. The Social Democrats program, which the Parliament is currently debating, calls for balanced budgets in the public financing and a completion to the bank privatization program. Poland's government on Tuesday said it would take control of a field near the former Auschwitz death camp. Catholic activists have been erecting crosses at Auschwitz despite pleas from Jewish groups and Catholic leaders. Prime Minister Jerzy Buzek said the government would annul a 30-year lease for the land which is owned by a group linked to the people who have been planting the crosses. A government spokesman said to expect a long court dispute before the lease could be annulled. This is the first move the Polish government has taken to resolve the dispute. The issue has soured already strained relations between Poland and the Jewish community. After insisting Serb military action must be stopped first, Kosovo Albanians turned down an offer to begin peace talks with Belgrade on Tuesday. Femi Agani, coordinator of the Kosovo negotiating team, refused to talk with the Serbs, saying their offer for peace talks was time for propaganda purposes. Serb representatives in the Kosovo capital Pristina waited for almost one hour to speak with the Albanian team. The Serbs then issued a statement saying that the offer for talks was still open. Ethnic Albanians broke off talks with Belgrade in June when Yugoslavia made a launcher, a major offensive to crush the Kosovo Liberation Army, which is waging a violent struggle for independence in the Serb-controlled province. And that's some of what we're following here at Central Europe Online. For the European Internet Network, I'm Tara Sunderland.